Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Rush Durant sentence for role in Crash That Killed Three. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Ray Brewer. We have an update on our top story this noon. A Stratum restaurant has just been sentenced for its role in a crash that killed three people. The Jade Palace can either pay a $100,000 fine plus a penalty assessment or be on three years probation and either pay a donation to a charity that works to prevent the overserving of alcohol or lose its liquor license for a year. The restaurant was convicted of serving an underage customer who then crashed, killing him and two others. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire high school employee accused of possessing child sex abuse images. A Kennett high school staff member has been fired after he was arrested and charged with possession of child sexual abuse images. Adam Jones, 40, was accused of using a social media website to upload pictures and lure in potential victims, police said. He was arraigned Thursday and pleaded not guilty to two charges. Conway police said they received a tip in mid-December from the social media website Tumblr saying that a user uploaded what appeared to be several files of child sexual abuse images. Investigators said they eventually tracked the IP address of that account to Jones's home in North Conway. According to court documents, Jones admitted to police that he recently used his cell phone to access the images. He also admitted to setting up cameras to tape a teenager boy who knew in disturbing nude recording of that child, police said. Jones was released on personal recognition bail. He was fired by the school district this morning. School superintendent Kevin Richard said Jones passed all background checks before beginning to hire as a professional paraprofessional at Kennett High School. Police said Jones also created fake social media pages to acquire pictures of boys. The investigation is continuing. Police said they're using the case as a warning to parents to make sure their children know who they're talking to online. Manchester School Superintendent gives resignation notice. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. The superintendent of the Manchester School District says he is resigning. In a letter to the school board, Superintendent Bolgan Vargas said, For personal and professional reasons, I will step aside to make way for new leadership that can realize the potential we have prepared for over the last three years. His resignation is effective in 90 days. Mayor Joyce Craig released a statement in response saying, 
In part, quote, I want to thank Dr. Vargas for his service to the Manchester School District. I am committed to working with him, district staff, and the Board of School Committee to ensure a smooth transition. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Democrats call shutdown meeting continuous, while President says it was productive. A meeting Friday between President Donald Trump and Democrats ended in a split description of what transpired with Republicans expressing optimism a deal could be struck and their political opponents reporting no end. In sight. The IRS can't pay out tax refunds due to the government shutdown. Americans might find themselves missing an agency they usually love to hate if the government shut down present the Internal Revenue Service. Ford recalls over 953,000 vehicles due to airbag inflations that may explode. Let's take a look at that video. Ford will pay nearly $300 million to settle class action lawsuits related to the recall of their Takata airbags. The Takata airbag recall was the largest in history and led to Takata filing for bankruptcy in 2017. The airbags were pulled for a malfunction that could send shards of metal flying at drivers and passengers in cars outfitted with them. The $299.1 million settlement will reimburse consumers for money spent out of pocket for expenses related to the recall and will provide free loaner vehicles for Ford owners while they're waiting for their vehicles to be fixed. The settlement is waiting to be approved and will cover nearly 6 million vehicles. A Ford spokeswoman said, We remain focused on working with our customers to get their vehicles repaired. Parts are available for all of the Ford vehicles in priority groups 1 through 3, and we urge customers to contact their dealer immediately for free repairs. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And now let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Friday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you for this Friday evening. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. S&P 500 closed in the green and went up. Gold closed in the red and went down. Oil closed in the green and went up. U.S. 10-year closed in the green and went up. Euro slash USD closed in the green and went up. VAX closed in the red and went down. Dow jumps more than 700 points, propelled by Powell's comments in Blow Out Jobs Report. Stocks rallied on Friday after two positive pieces of news from the market. Trump mulls declaring national emergency in an effort to secure wall funding. President Donald Trump said Friday he is considering declaring a national emergency to help pay for his long-desired border wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your 
night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow night with, and for, also tomorrow for the Riley King Newscast. Good night, everyone. Bye.